Good morning class, it's Farmer Vera, your food corps member at the McAvenue School. And today we're learning about plant parts. And the best place to learn about plant parts, our school garden. So before we get started, I just wanted to introduce myself really briefly. I'm originally from Danbury, Connecticut. My favorite activity is eating blueberries and I love hiking. I can't wait to get to know all of you this year and I'm super excited to get started on learning about plant parts. And in here we have the garden. I just want to show you all the great things that we're growing this season. I wanted to show the class the different types of plants that are growing in the garden right now. Here we have a watermelon plant. And then over here you see a zucchini plant that's growing really, really big. And then over here we have some honey that's growing. You can see behind the leaves there's a one growing right now. And then we have some pepper plants. And then also some tomatillos that are growing as well. I wanted to go over the plant parts together as a class before we use a real life comparison. So first, on top, we have leaves, which make food for the plant with sun and air. And then after, we have the fruit, which protects the seeds. And then after, we have the flowers, which make pollen, seeds, and fruit. And then below that is the seeds. And the seeds grow into new plants. And then after that is the stem, which support the plant and carry water to the leaves. And finally, at the bottom, we have the roots, which take water from the soil and hold the plant in place. After looking at the diagram together as a class, we are going to try to identify all the different plant part functions on this jalapeno plant. All right, class, if you want to pause really quickly, you can take a moment to identify the different plant parts with me. All right, so let's start from the very bottom and you can't really see it, but underneath all the dirt, you'll have our roots. And remember what the roots are for. The roots are to take water from the soil and hold the plant in place. And without that, this plant wouldn't be able to have any water or even be staying upright. All right, next right here, pause the video and guess what this is. And you guessed it, it's the leaves. The leaves make food for the plant with sun and air. And without it, the plant would have any energy to grow big and strong. All right, class, up next, it's really, really tiny, so you might have to squint to find it. It's the flower. So on the jalapeno plant, the flower makes the pollen, seeds, and fruit. Okay, class, up next, I want us to take a quick second and guess what this is. This is the fruit. This is the fruit of the jalapeno plant. And remember, the purpose of the fruit is to protect the seeds. Okay, class, uh, the last plant part we're going to identify are the seeds. And do we remember what the seeds do? They grow into the new plant. And so these seeds will one day become a new jalapeno plant. And remember to be careful with your eyes, your nose, and your lips when dealing with a jalapeno plant because it's extra spicy. And that's it. That's all the six plant parts. Plant parts that plants and people need. All right, class. After using the jalapeno plant as an example for the plant parts, we are just going to go over what each plant part is and its function. First, the roots, which take water from the soil and hold the plant in place. The stems, which support the plant and carry water to the leaves. After, the leaves, which make food for the plant with sun and air. After, flowers, which make pollen, seeds, and fruit. Fruits, which protect the seeds. And then seeds, 
that grow into the new plant. Six plant parts that plants and people need. The leaves are the kitchens where the food is. Thank you so much. I'm so glad we learned the six plant parts together. Inside of me, cause lettuce is a